The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday, March the 21st, Tuesday, March the 21st, for the whole counsel of God. We hear God's word and we pray together, reading through the entire text of the Bible through three years, using the Lutheran Study Bible, also using the devotional notes and prayers found therein. This week we'll finish the book of Ecclesiastes. Today we have the ninth chapter, verses 7 through 10. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Please show me now your ways, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of our own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I shall declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter, verses 7 through 10. Enjoy life. Go, eat your bread with joy, and drink your wine with a merry heart, for God has already approved what you do. Let your garments be always white. Let not oil be lacking on your head. Enjoy life with the wife whom you love, all the days of your vain life that he has given you under the sun, because that is your portion in life and in your toil, at which you toil under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. So far the word of the Lord. God looks with favor upon the one who lives by faith. When God blesses you with wealth, enjoy the blessing and be a blessing to others. Make proper use of the time that God gives you in life, knowing that denying yourself simple pleasures does not gain God's favor. Simple and godly pleasures are only the beginning of the gifts of his love and his forgiveness that he grants through his most beloved Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, that we can look at the simple blessings in life as a source of true joy, we receive all such things as signs of your love and mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On this 21st day of March, we pray for us calendar. We pray for the gospel multiplication as pastors are equipped to teach their flocks and train new leaders for the church. Thank God for the growth of his kingdom. In your name we pray. Amen. Father in heaven, help me to see that you give meaning to life. When I get discouraged and ready to give up, show me that you are my strength. Help me to have the true joy of life found only in Jesus Christ. Show me how to share this joy with my family and all those I come into contact with. Enable me to fear and love you above all things. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer those wounded in body or mind, and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will, and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From, now, from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We're bold to pray together as he has taught us, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you 
and give you peace. Amen.